THCP, abbreviated as tetrahydrocannabiferol and technically referred to as trans-9 tetrahydrocannabiferol, is a natural cannabinoid and THC analog found in cannabis strains. It is believed to be 33 times more active at cannabinoid 1, CB1, receptors than THC, producing a potent and overwhelming euphoria. The legality of tetrahydrocannabiferol is caught between contradictory federal statutes. It is not specifically classified as a controlled substance and may be protected under the Farm Bill of 2018 if it is not clearly designated as a restricted substance. However, many think that it is a controlled drug covered by the Federal Analog Act FAA. The discovery of tetrahydrocannabiferol has created quite a commotion. Even the possibility of a cannabinoid more potent than THC is enough to send the cannabis community into a frenzy. What do we know more about THCP? What led to its discovery? What are its consequences? Does it provide you with any benefits? When and how was THCP first discovered? THCP was unveiled to the public for the first time on 30 December 2019 in an open access issue of Scientific Reports, headlined A New Phytocannabinoid Derived from Cannabis Sativa L, having a greater in vivo cannabimimetic activity than 9 tetrahydrocannabinol. The term alone is enough to pique the interest of even the most casual cannabis consumers. What is the nature of this novel cannabinoid? What led to its discovery? What does this signify for the cannabis industry in general? THCP was found unintentionally. The research was undertaken by a group of Italian scientists. They utilized cutting-edge mass spectrometry and liquid chromatography on a genuine, not manufactured, cannabis sample, FM2, supplied by the Military Chemical Institute of Florence, Italy. The mass spectrometry and liquid chromatography analyses enabled the scientists to carefully evaluate the plant materials. During this procedure, tetrahydrocannabiferol was discovered by accident, a total accident. THCP is 30 times more efficient in binding to CB1 receptors than THC. Once the initial shock of discovering a novel cannabinoid had worn off, the researchers identified THCP to be nearly identical to THC, with a slight difference. The side chains of naturally occurring cannabis compounds are alkyl. Alkyl side chains are carbon atom chains. In a depiction of the chemical structure of THC, or CBD, the alkyl side chains resemble the tails of animals. THCP is 30 times more efficient in binding to CB1 receptors than THC. Once the initial shock of discovering a novel cannabinoid had worn off, the researchers identified tetrahydrocannabiferol to be nearly identical to THC, with a slight difference. The side chains of naturally occurring cannabis compounds are alkyl. Alkyl side chains are carbon atom chains. In a depiction of the chemical structure of THC, or CBD, the alkyl side chains resemble the tails of animals. These alkyl side chains reveal how the cannabinoid will interact with the endocannabinoid system, ECS, and cannabinoid receptors. An alkyl side chain must have at least three carbon atoms for a cannabinoid to exert some effect on your cannabinoid receptor 1, CB1. Gate City contains five, which is partially responsible for the high or stoned feeling it produces. Now we reach the clincher. Seven carbon atoms are present in the alkyl side chain of THCP, a synthetic version of THC with a seven carbon chain, JWA091, was twice as efficient at binding to CB1 receptors as THC. Nevertheless, when the Italian researchers tested its naturally obtained THCP on human receptors, it was 30 times more potent at connecting with CB1 receptors, raising the question. What are the therapeutic advantages of THCP use? 
Researchers also identified CBDP. Researchers also discovered cannabidiferol CBDP, another cannabinoid with a 7-hydrocarbon chain, alongside THCP. CBDP is also formally known as CBDC7 and CBD heptile. CBDP is poorly understood as compared to THCP. Researchers do not consider it a priority at this time, since CBD has limited effect on CB1 and CB2 receptors. Therefore, it is doubtful that the additional two connections will improve the probability of cannabinoid-specific receptors. Currently, no study is being conducted on CBD and its effects. Does THCP do anything to the body? This is an excellent question for which we do not yet have a complete answer. Before we can definitively tell what THCP can do for you and your health, further research must be undertaken. When examining the impact of THCP on human cannabinoid receptors, the Italian researchers discovered the following physiological consequences. Hypomobility, pain relief, analgesia, temperature reduction in the rectum. The effects of THCP are virtually comparable to those of THC, but with increased potency. Probably pain alleviation might be more pronounced. It may also be a more effective sleep aid for persons with insomnia. Without more data to support its therapeutic usage, we can only speculate about its potential future applications. Some recreational users will like the increased potency, the high produced by THCP-rich cannabis strains or products might have rather potent effects. When combined with other cannabinoids and terpenes, the effects may be more sedative, stimulating, or relaxing. Have you been accidentally taking THCP? It is likely that you have eaten THCP by accident at some time throughout your life. The combination of THC and THCP as opposed to THC alone, is now believed to be responsible for an extremely intense and surprising high. This makes sense. Cannabis chemicals do not suddenly appear after their discovery. They have been present the entire time. What side effects does THCP have? The adverse effects of THCP are mostly unknown. Again, this is a novel cannabinoid, and the short and long-term negative effects of THCP have not been thoroughly reported. However, because THCP is related to THC, we may anticipate that its side effects are comparable. Common side effects of THC include vomiting, paranoia, anxiousness, self-consciousness, sleepiness, sickness, fatigue, alertness, Dreeness of the mouth, red eyes, memory impairment, temporary. Because THACP is thought to bind to the CB1 receptor more strongly, the negative effects may be more prominent. The following brands now sell THCP products. Spyglass Wellness. Spyglass Wellness is brand that aspires to provide the best plant-based alternatives to cannabis that positively impact human health as a whole. The exceptional quality of their products is a result of the ecologically friendly manufacturing techniques and sustainable standards they employ. On their official website, there are several natural goods including THCP+, CBTP+, D8 THC+, and THCD+, as well as numerous items containing lesser cannabinoids. Their THCP oil that has long-lasting benefits is one of these remarkable items. Benoid. Even though Benoid is a relatively young hemp company, its reputation has grown rapidly due to the superior quality of their products. They use hemp cultivated on the greatest farms in Oregon, which are renowned for their nutrient-rich soil. Even their name reflects Benoid's conviction that cannabinoids must be an integral part of our daily life. On the hemp market, they offer some of the highest-rated THCP products, each of their products contains potent quantities of cannabinoids and natural terpenes. Bees Knees 
The third brand whose THCC products we enjoy is Bee's Knees CBD. This firm is well known for the diversity of hemp products it manufactures. Even pet-friendly hemp products are available. Bee's Knees CBD is made with hemp of the highest quality, which they cultivate themselves on a family farm in Colorado, and they also oversee the whole production process. This is how they ensure that the products you purchase from them are of the finest quality. Higher Prices Currently available tetrahydrocannabiferol products are more expensive than CBD ones. We anticipate that this will discourage many users. A pack of candies containing 1 mg of THCP each will cost you $30 plus delivery or around $2 per serving. CBD candies without THCP cost between $1 and $1.50 per serving. However, the question on everyone's lips is, are they worth the price you pay? We're not sure. Our initial impression is that THCP goods fill a viable market niche until a large number of rivals begin developing their own THCP goods. The price of any novel and interesting product that is not regularly distributed will be inflated. What do individuals say about THCP products? Regarding THCP effects, personally, we have not had the opportunity to try them. Again, internet-based anecdotes claim favorable outcomes with a few individuals claiming it produces a similarly gratifying high as Delta-8 THC. Others, however, are skeptical since the tetrahydrocannabiferol concentration is so low.